there guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to share with you a game called Mind Mold Block Puzzle Game and this is a shape filling puzzle game. Now if you like games like Tetris and Tangram, this is quite similar, it's more on the lines of Tangram puzzle game and I actually love those kind of games so I really enjoy playing this one. Now I've started it right back from the beginning and what you do is you do the tutorial first, so I'll show you how to play it and how to start. But basically the game is you have got five different parts that you can use to complete any of the levels. And these parts or shapes are given to you all different randomly and you've just got to figure out which way is best to place them. Now you can drag them over to the place if you're happy with that. Or you can tap once on a, on a shape and it will rotate it 90 degrees for you. If you want to flip it over or mirror it, you just double tap and it'll change the way it is for you. You've got to do this before you drag it and drop it over. And if there's a part that you've got and you think you're not going to need it, you can, if you want to, drag it over to the trash can on the right hand side and it gets rid of it for you and brings on the next piece. As you can see on the screen at the bottom, you can see the piece you've got, which one that you tap in, and then the one that's coming next you can see at the side of it as well. Now if you get stuck, there's a really fun way of getting rid of them as well. So say if you place a piece on the puzzle and you're not happy with it and you think it could be in the wrong place, you can use either a rocket, which is on the left hand side, so you just drag the rocket to the piece you want to get rid of and it will blast it away. Or if you want to get rid of the whole of the puzzles that you've placed, then use the bomb which is next to the rocket and you drag that onto the shapes and it will just blow it all away for you so you can start all over again. It's really good fun. When you first start, it's not very challenging so it gives you like a feel for the game so you get an idea of how to play and as you progress through then obviously it gets more challenging. Altogether, there are 80 different levels, so lots of levels to get your teeth into and play and work your way through. And there's also, you can connect it to Facebook if you want to, so you can challenge like your Facebook friends. I haven't, um, I don't tend to use games on Facebook, but you can do if you want to. So there's leaderboards, so you can compete with your friends. And it's for iPhone and iPad as well, so you can play it on both. It's probably actually a little bit easier on the iPad, um, but obviously that's on the iPhone. So check it out guys though, and if you do, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, bye for now.